Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is gonna be about disappointment and why this video might be a disappointment to you or why you might be a disappointment to yourself and what we can do about it. So let's, let's talk about it. Oh, and today's video is brought to you by Procrastination. Why make a video earlier in the week of high quality when you can make one last minute without any editing? <laughs> okay, so um, I wanna talk about disappointment because I am really, really good at having disappointment in myself. And I was just last week, I actually put a, if you go check out my Instagram post, you can see, um, I'll put a link to my Instagram below. But if you check out my Instagram post, you can see how I was talking about how we should focus on our inputs um, and that our outputs will basically follow and our outputs will match our ambition. And I like to think about disappointment as, or the definition of disappointment as when reality doesn't match our expectations. So if you've been disappointed when you go into a job interview and you don't get the job interview even though you did really well, that would be a, that would be a good example of disappointment. Um, not getting the raise that you expect for the year would be another example of disappointment. And there's tons and tons of these, right? We've all been disappointed in our lives. So how can we change disappointments and turn them into an opportunity to grow versus an opportunity to stagnate? Well, we have to change or adapt what we're doing so that we get different results in the future. For example, I was disappointed with my channel growth, with my YouTube videos and I know that in the past I haven't made any at all and I know that if I edit them and do them early on that they'll be of higher quality and that more people watch them. I just had a video with 500 views and I know of the tricks and tweaks to get to that level. Now after that video I did one in Dallas and I did it last minute and it's got three or four seconds of, of space in the, <laughs> at the front, you can see it, I'll put it in the card above at some point, but you can just go look at my videos and see it has like three, four seconds of space and then the audio is misaligned. And um, even this video is a disappointment uh, to the quality of videos that I wanna be producing. But that being said, um, I'm still making it. And so I think that we, while we have disappointments and while we can't be perfect, and while we're trying to tweak our inputs, um, we still need to let ourselves be human as well. So I want to know what are some disappointments that you guys have experienced in your careers lately? And if you put those in the comments below, I'd love to respond to them and try to understand a little bit better about what those disappointments are. I'll put one uh, below myself as well and also right after that put what you're going to do to change your inputs or to evaluate how you're going to change in the future so that you grow rather than stagnate and i can't wait to see your responses please put them below and i think that'll help me know what to do in some upcoming videos as well and i might yeah just go ahead and put one below. My favorite comment, I'm gonna go ahead and mention in the uh, next video I do. So go ahead and put one below and I'll mention you in the next video. Thanks so much.